Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Easy VPK version 1.0, and this is a lightweighted homebrew downloader that uses the Vita DB as source. So it's the same thing as Vita Homebrew Browser, and this is just another option that we have to download some of these VPKs and install them directly onto our system. So let's take a look at this let's head on over to our desktop and the first link in the description will take you to Vita DB. here is easy vpk version 1.0 let's download that here at the bottom let's show in our folder oh, i already downloaded one so we are all set there now i will connect my vita to oops to my pc here and I will go to Vita Shell. And this one is running on 3.60. And let's press start and do, let's do USB this time. There we go. And here's our VPK folder. And it's very easy to copy into your Vita like that and it's already installed so this is 2.54 megabytes very easy to copy over let's head back to our vita here let's go into our uxo folder and install that vpk and there it goes would you like to continue the install hit yes and should be done within a few seconds and it's not that large there we go now let's head back home and see this application easy vpk by electric 1447 Wonder if there's any audio with this app. And make sure you're connected to your internet connection via Wi Fi. And here is the homebrew downloader, what we just installed. Here's VitaQuake, Kogers Mountain version 1.0 digital board game for PS Vita Noboru version 0 0.6 very good and the N64 emulator let's try this one here so we have details for X search triangle select to exit and start to restart so let's hit X and this download is updated every night at midnight PDT Pacific time to the latest Nightly release, Diatolus X64 is a Nintendo 64 emulator originally for Linux and PSP ported to PS Vita. And there is no, there is no screenshots here and just your basic details of the homebrew. And let's press X to install. So I just hit X again and it took me back to the main. And not sure what's going on here. Hit X again. And I'll just wait. There's no progress bar or anything like that. And this is the first time I'm actually using this. I had one person, um, a lot of people complain on one of my latest videos and that was um, them saying why didn't you test this before you made the video you're wasting our time or something like that and for the most part when we're looking at some of this newer homebrew that's released I like to go through it with you for the very first time sometimes if it's a more in-depth tutorial like connecting a PS3 controller or PS4 I would test it out first and then make the video but for stuff like this new homebrew released it's exciting to go through with you 
and see what we can find together. But yeah, for the most part, I like to test some of this stuff and walk you through the installation of this stuff, which is fairly easy with all this um, different homebrew, as long as you have homebrew browser. But I'm not really liking this at all. I don't see any progress bar or anything like that. It's very simple, very minimalistic, like it said, lightweighted application. And I hit no boru. And I'm just not understanding what else I must do. Oh, you know what? I think what happens here is the VPK downloads, but we have to install it through VitaShell. I think that's the case. So that is my guess. And I think I installed the I installed these VPKs I think numerous times because I kept hitting X. So let's check out VPK. And I was right. So there is the Atlas X64. And there is Noboru VPK. So that is very cool. It downloads the VPK, but you got to go to VitaShell and install it. And this is a very good backup just in case Homebrew Browser is not working. And this one is working. So I would highly recommend you guys download this right away before anything happens to it. Let's try. Um, oh, here we go. Vita Homebrew Browser version 0 0.92 let's hit X and I guess you gotta wait for the screen to change and then you can hit install you can hit X and this one does have the the preview image along with Noboru which is great I love to see preview images to see exactly what I'm working with here when installing and we hit the install button and like I said, there's no progress bar. I don't see anything. And we'll just wait before. And there you go. Now that's telling me that it's done downloading. Whoops. Let's go back to Vita Shell. And there is Vita Homebrew Browser. Awesome. I'll do Vita Homebrew Browser. This is exciting. I love to see new homebrew for the Vita, it's a lot of fun. Definitely a great app to have for a backup just in case. And let's go. Wait, where's Noboru? Did I install Noboru? What did I install? Okay, I, I don't know what happened there. I thought I hit Noboru, I guess I hit something else. Wow, so it is working 100%, that is awesome. Yeah, so this is the problem with Homebrew Browser. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. And that's why this is a great app to have as a backup. So you'll stay updated to all the different releases and you don't have to go on your PC and download them and copy them over and all that. You could just do it on your Vita. So I've been waiting a few minutes now and it's not working. And that's why you need to install EasyVPK by Electric1447. Thank you so much for providing this amazing application for us. Even though we don't see a status bar, which I would love to see on your next update. And go from there. So, and that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.